Hello, this is Let's Play B Games episode 22 of WWE 13 Universe Mode. This is Raw. And we've got a pretty good card tonight. And I'll just go through it in a minute. Sort some stuff out. Um, so we've got Father and Our Truth just to start off the night. We've got CM Punk and Brock Lesnar in Force County kind of match. So it was originally Triple H and Road Dog, but I just changed the participants to those two. Then that was already booked by the game, Mysterio and Jack Swagger. Then I made a triple threat between Mankind, John Cena and James, which is the original th triple threat, but it's no disqualifications. And then this, I've got a plan for the Hardcore Championship, it's going to be a championship scramble for the Hardcore Championship. And seeing as Triple H and Shawn Michaels have broken up, and Cody Rhodes and Ted Biasi have broken up, they're going to be four of the participants, and then the, f the fifth guy will be the winner of this Battle Royal, and then they will go for the Hardcore Championship at Judgment Day. So we're just going to start this match here between two of the dancers of the WWE. It's going to be Godfather versus Our Truth, and this should be a pretty quick match. Mainly because I'm going to play as Our Truth, but still, that's not a point. So we're in Providence, Rhode Island. I'm guessing our eyes stands for Rhode Island, so in Providence, Rhode Island, and Godfather's coming out. We're still three weeks away from Judgment Day, but I've still got, got my whole card sorted, so. Probably two videos go up today. There'll be this one and then they'll probably ECW will be going up as well. Um So I'll go for make his entrance. Um, I might play the championship. I might play the fatal four way thing. It's pin and submission only. I might just leave it to play, but I'm playing this match just so I can get it over and done with. I'm probably going to play as I true. Got the other could have been in that main event, but it's. I was going to put Godfather in that main event, actually. I should have done. But I put in um, Rock, um, the, the Rock, the New Age Outlaws, and. Um, oh, God, I can't remember. Someone. It should have been Weird Barry. I think I put in. Oh, God, I can't for the life of me remember. But I'll. Um, I remember when it's time to play that match. So two of the dancers of WWE going head to head. I'm not gonna. I might just play as a random guy. I'm just gonna do the random thing that sometimes you do. I just count down from three and just pick between the two. And now truth talking to little Jimmy, getting prepared for the match. This should be a pretty good one. And what I was thinking of doing is I was thinking of making a custom Jeff Hardy. I was going to make it, make his debut be just after Judgment Day. There, I'm going to put him on Raw and it's going to be just after Judgment Day. Possibly. Three, two, one. Stop. Our truth. Um, yeah, I was going to do that. I was thinking of doing some sort of thing with him. So. If you want to see that then. If you want to see um, Jeff Hardy then. You've got your wish. Oh, no, it's upside down, but it's just glitched out, so now I've got fires back up. Oh, 
Oh, some big punches by our truth and Godfather tries to help up, but our truth moves out of the way. Wow. Our truth is going to jump out the ring. Boom. Well, our truth is proving himself here tonight. Trying to get back in the ring, but it's not working. It's been all our truth so far. Maybe our truth should have been in this hardcore championship match. Not the championship match, but obviously, but the fit forward to determine who else is going to be in the championship scramble. Is that just going for a super place? Can't tell because the camera's so far zoomed in. Yes, he was. Straight to the back. Oh, no. No. Buttocks. Um, I, I reversed it. I think I'm playing this next match as CM Punk, but I think I might just let it play. It's a pretty good match. It was Hell in a Cell between um, Triple H and Road Dog, but then I edited something and it changed it to a False Count Anywhere match. But now it's a um, false kind of a match between CM Punk and Brock Lesnar. I think that's a pretty good match. Because oh, I've had a pre booked for a uh, false kind of a match before. So that's quite cool. Oh, I want to get my signature already. I'm about as full, just about. So, what's Godfather doing? Nothing, okay. Damn it. The backdrop and I didn't even do anything to him, okay. Okay, because that makes sense. Um. I'm going to be making a team of awesome truth and further into my universe. He's taking out the trash. Ow. Big left hand. And he missed that one. He's working down the midsection outside the ring. One more time. I'm going to do the signature outside because it has more effect. I'm just going to hit my finisher outside as well. I don't know what you call that. I don't know what you call that the little Jimmy or the shut up or whatever because Michael Cole has a couple of names for it. Uh, but I don't know which one the legit one is. Boom, head scissor. He's got yellow body and red head, so maybe I could pin him, but I'm going to try I'm just going to be safe and hit another finisher on him. A pretty good match and all, but it's kind of been our truth. I say that, and Godfather does a follow a slam. <laughs> Ooh, Godfather. Let's just do a bit of taunting. Yeah, you know who the boss is, God damn it. Remember, I'm playing this on medium now. I'm playing with one hand still. Boom, boom, bada bing, bada boom. Let's tear apart the announce table for when I need it. Because trust me, I will be using that table. Get up. Might as well just barricade break him, aren't I? Do 
Do you want to get back in the ring? Wait for him to get back in the ring. And then go back out the ring. Wait on the table. I just don't know. I'm going to put him. Get down. Don't get down then. I'll throw you at him personally if you don't bloody move your ass. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Damn. God damn it, Godfather. Why can you not just stay down? No. No. Buttocks. Nope. Joe's going to finish it off here. It's been a long enough match to start off with. That's going to be it. Oh my. Sorry, I fault, Godfather. Oh my god, I'm going to lose this, aren't I? No. That is going to be it. I don't want to. I don't want to do this match anymore. I don't know how it suddenly got so bright, but oh well. I think I'm going to play this next match. Well, they like our truth by the sounds of it. Yeah, I'm probably going to play just about all these matches. Apart from the Battle Royal. Cause let the battle royal play out because I don't. I'm, I want Rock to win, and then Rock to become a co-champion at um, Judgment Day. But my plans will get spoiled, so there's no point in making plans. And here comes CM Punk. I'm the cult of personality. I feel the John Cena or Sheamus can be the WWE champion in this triple threat match later on tonight. They could be in for a shot at capital punishment against the champion unless Undertaker beats my friend. Then I'll get a shot against Undertaker. I don't have to play this much because Brock's the favourite, but Punk's my favourite. Out of these two. I don't even know. Why is it so fucking bright? I don't know why it's so bright, but it is. I'm going to have to set my phone out. Anyway, I'm going to be playing as, um, whoever this lands on for three seconds, I suppose. Three, two, one. Brock. Oh, no, I'm playing as Brock. What did I get? I didn't get I didn't get anything, punk. I didn't get anything, it's all your fault. But while he's over there I want to get a weapon, but okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is looking to destroy shampoo. Butch cheeks, butt cheeks, butt cheeks, man. But a boom. Move, ref. Good. Trash can. What are you doing, ref? Getting up. Brock Lesnar's not in a good mood, is he? Today, obviously. And that's not going to make him in any better mood. Move, ref. I refuse to step my way or I'll hit you in the face with this bell. I'm I'm not even potatoing. Am I punk? Am I? Damn it. God damn it. There we are. Douche. You think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? You're not better than me. I'm better than you though. Oh, you. I am hot. I think this match is going to go on very long. In all truth and honesty, and I say in truth. Ah, truth. That was a bad joke. Um. It's false count anyway, so. Nope. Balls. I didn't think he was going to get me. Fucking goddammit. Table now. Oh, you shit bag. No. Oh, you serious? Punctures demolishing me. Maybe not. As you know, five mother can truck is connected to the Wii Remote. That should be it. Brock Lesnar dominates Punk here. And I don't know what's going to happen with Punk. Maybe he'll go down to a downward spiral. Maybe he'll improve. But Brock has just beaten the hell out of him. Impressive win. Well, Brock Lesnar is pretty proud of himself, and he should be. That was a brilliant dominant win. To prove that Brock Lesnar is still Brock Lesnar. And this next match is not a triple threat, but a uh, normal match between. I'll know both of them after the first guy comes out. Rim Stereo and Jack Swagger. I'm probably going to play this one as well. Looks like I'm going to play every match except for the. Champion, the Battle Royal. I couldn't see who actually will win that match. But a but a but a ding ding to understand. We've had a brilliant show here so far in Providence. Brilliant opening match between Godfather and Our Truth. Our Truth eventually coming out on top. No, we got we had a pretty good false count in there match there between CM Punk and Brock Lesnar where Brock Lesnar was dominant. 
Even though same point we put Brock Lesnar through an announce table. Brock Lesnar never managed to come back from it in F5, same punk outside the ring. For a win. And Rey Mysterio will be going one one with this man before. Well, I'm going to draft Jack Swagger to ECW because when I make Jeff Hardy, he's going to be on Raw. I need to make Jeff Hardy. I was also thinking of doing a Kurt Angle, but if you have any suggestions, then tell me them and I will make them. Because I can't get communications because A, the Wii, I don't have internet for the Wii. And B, I think only communications come on Xbox and stuff. Well, I could be wrong there. If I ever get internet for the Wii, I could always take a look and download some guys. But WWE 2K14 might come out by then. Um, so... Yeah. So I'm probably just going to play as Jack Swagger. Three, two, one, stop. Yep, Jack Swagger. Um, so this could be another dominant match, although I think Rey Mysterio put up a fight. There you go. Oh, click the wrong thing. Uh, there you go. Rey Mysterio putting up a fight already. I should have put this in another qualifications match, but I didn't. I set interference for all normal matches, and it's not seen an interference yet. But then again, we only have one normal match. Um, because I think my, uh, my universe mode needs more interference and stuff. Is you Mr. You're going through the announce table this early? No. Because I just messed it up. Oh, well, it will at some point. Not now, obviously. Want to do? Want to do? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Want to do a top. Oh, Jesus. I want to do a top rope move through the table, but it's not going to work. Is it? Is it real? I've not even done any damage to him outside the ring. No, no, no. What are you doing? Alright, let's. Ray, what are you doing? There we go. Stay. 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 All American. But. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Nope. I'm not going to get a signature off on time. Maybe I am. Try to do a swagger bomb. I only learned how to do it the other day. I was playing an exhibition match with Jack Swagger and I thought, how do you do a swagger bomb? And now I've found out. Conan Ray. Nope. Uh, lol. You hurt yourself. Oh, oh crap. No, it's, it's not another disqualification. Damn it. Swaggy, you just... Why did you pick up a chair? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know why Swagger picked up a chair, but he did. Lol. And boom, over steps. Anything's legal, anything goes in this match. I'm just kidding. Oh, apparently I'm doing my finisher. Okay. Get up. There we go. That should keep him up for a little bit while I do some taunting. Swagger! Yeah, Rim Stewart's not down. Done, even. I want to try and finish with an ankle lock. That's why I'm... Oh my Jesus Christ. Watch it. 
I'll do it this way then. How do I know you have to come back? I'm just psychic, can't I? So what am I trying to do here? I'll try to get Grim Stereo down. Nope. Good damn it. Oh. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Oh, fuck. Nope. Oh, okay, maybe up. Nope. Oh. Good. Could I swagger bomb as a finisher? Clearly not. Ah, uh, but nope. Jack Swagger says nope. Anchor lock. I need to change Swagger. How Swagger does the anchor lock? This should be it. Yeah, this could be it. We went with Jack Swagger by submission. Good match there. I was going to say, Ray Mysterio healed to him, but it was slapping away a hand of here, so. Maybe he's still face, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe that could be a match at the pay per view. I don't know yet. Neither of them have matches. So it could be quite cool, but Jack Swagger's getting moved to ECW, so. Yeah. Pick up taunts can be found when you're in possession of a finishing move icon. I was reading. I think about this match playthrough, actually. I don't want to embarrass myself if, if with fails on triple threats, so I'm going to let this match play through. We've done seen wins still get a future shot. Seamus wins still get a future shot. If Mankind wins this, he's just dominant. He's just showing us a WWE champion. And just to know if... Um, Mankind gets beaten by Undertaker, there will probably be a rematch, a triple threat sort of thing. For the WWE Championship of Capital Punishment, it could be Undertaker, Mankind and Sheamus, so it could be Undertaker, Mankind and John Cena. But you don't know yet. Undertaker will get another rematch if he loses this, so... If Undertaker loses at Judgment Day, then he's not getting another shot for a while. If Undertaker wins at Judgment Day, then it could be a triple threat at Capital Punishment. Here comes word life, thugonomics, I've not used much. I like this scene more. In um when you get this game and you start universe and you choose John Cena or Far to use his reaction is is fa is cheer, so that means it's a face as well. But I don't want him to be a face, so change him to heel. Microphone like anthem. The new fight joint. Like a broken needle, kid, you're missing the point. We dominate your comfort with no scissors, no nonsense. And theme song, it's get your reinforcements. First rappers walk away with full shiners. The wrong rappers touching legends to old timers. I feel like it's has a bad in three one layers. You dead man, yeah, okay. Seamus. Feeling pretty confident about his chances. All of these things that you make you believe. If this match goes on for too long, I'll play the main event. And if the match doesn't go on for that long, I won't play the main event. There we go, there's a deal. 
So we'll try and keep this under an hour. And I will see you riding straight to hell. Bum de bum de bum. Written in my face. I know most of the theme songs are WWE people, so I'll be singing. I sing them. Just can't help it. So now we'll play this match, actually. So I'll play as Mankind. I'll just stay out of the way. Seamus and Jonathan can fight. I'll get weapons, do taunts, and just hit finish on both of them and win. It's pretty lame, but, you know. Leave me alone. What are you doing coming after me, eh? Hey? So what thoughts, what thoughts, what thoughts, what thoughts, what thoughts, Seamus, Seamus, you... No! Oh, John Cena was trying to do a double team move there. Oh, yes! I got John Cena helping me. Bada bing, bada boom. Now you two fight. Exactly, King, you dumb shit. What am I. No! I want the chair. Well done. Seamus! 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 Ah, good damn it. Nope. Let's just do some taunting. Oh, I got signature, I got signature. Boom! Just table set for someone. Boom! Mr. Socko! Boom! It's not false counter, is it? No. I think so, somehow. Boom! Right, well, I'm gonna wait until one of these guys gets side of the ring. Bang bang, bang bang, bang bang. Come on, get back in. Not good time for this, Seamus. Get back in. Good boy. Boom. Oh, balls. Damn. Cunt. Wank. John Cena. John Cena. John Cena. John. John. Seamus wins this, then he gets a shot, grabs punishment. But neither of them are going to win this because I am mankind. Aren't I? Eh? So don't I? Oh, oh god. Oh, da damn it. Yes. So I thought. Uh, no. No. Boom. No. Oh, bottoms. Oh, it's got pins and needles on my foot. Oh, damn it. Oh, god damn it. It hurts. It hurts. Oh. Oh, damn it. <sighs> Fucking painful now. Foot. It's got pins and needles in it. I don't like. Me no likey. No likey and all lighty. Come on, let me win, let me win, let me win. I really can't bother this match. Let me pin him. God damn it. God damn it. Oh my Jesus, Super Cena, two and a half. Ugh. Get off the ropes. Seamus, what are you doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six? Six, Seamus. Six. Six. You only doing six? That's got to be it. Please. One, two. No! Oh, Super Seamus now. Mr. Socko. 
Mr. Soko. Should be a submission really, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Dirty Pin. Dirty Pin wins it. Well, there we go. One kind turn in heel. Obviously, I'm joking. <sighs> oh, Dirty Pin there, though, by Mankind. And the WWE Champion pins Sheamus and wins a match. And pins and needles in my feet are fucking killing. I'm not going to play this main event. I don't know what Mankind was doing there, but yeah. Well, I won, so I'm walking away. But not without a creepy face. I've seen that uh, victory celebration so many times before. Um, sure. There's Brock Lesnar. Hello, Brock. How are you doing today, Brock? Brock, speak to me, Brock. You beat CM Punk, Brock. So this is the main event, and it's for the final place in the championship scramble. Five card championship at Judgment Day. I was thinking of doing two separate matches between Triple H and Shawn Michaels and Cody and Teddy Biase, but I remember Triple H had the Hard Card Championship, and Shawn Michaels. Could have been the challenger. Then I realised that Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase had been broken up. So then it was a fatal forward. But then I realised I could make a championship scramble by putting more, one more guy in. So it's going to be a championship scramble. Although I'm probably going to make it Armageddon. No, listen, no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's going to be a championship scramble. For that hardcore championship. Which is possessed by Triple H. Oh, Triple H is Judgment Day should be one hell of a pay per view. Mark Henry was the guy I forgot about. Somebody's gonna get their bit slipped. Somebody's gonna get their pussy. What? What? Mark Henry? <laughs> right, okay. No, seriously. Um, But I forgot that he was the other guy in this match. I'm sorry, Mark. I don't mean to forget you. I walk through this land like I'm running this man. Never can you imagine the pain that I bring if I say I'ma do it in the streets of this thing. It's okay, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, sneeze. 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 Somebody's gonna get their ass kicked. Somebody's gonna get their wig slip. Somebody's gonna get their ass kicked. Somebody's gonna get their wig split. Beat him up. Break his neck. Beat him up. Break his neck. Beat him up. Break his neck. As you can see, Undertaker could have been in this match, but he's challenging for the WWE Championship. I'm so you know you can compete. Tony Chimmel in the background. And then McHenry's going to win this match because he wants to get a high car championship. That's kicked. Wig split. Face licked. I don't need to be singing this. Rogue Dog better call somebody. I started watching this universe mode yesterday. I, and I just disco I discovered it. I put um, I just put universe mode in, and it came up as a sort of mid. I just went down the page, and it was like the bottom of the first page, and it was by a guy called Exex Gangster Prankster, and he has a good universe mode going. He's got WWE, CW, and TNA. He's doing pretty well, and that's 52 episodes. No, yeah, no, yeah, 52 episodes. He's on week 38. Um, that uh, that happened because he does um, he does all he does three. He's got three shows in his universe mode a week. He does all. He does a match from them each week, and that and then he does a pay per view, which is pretty good if you want to check it out. 
then check it out. It's eggs, then X, and then gangster prankster, pretty much. He's a pretty. Uh, I don't know him personally, but I started watching his videos, and he's a pretty good YouTuber. He says he's got the best universe mode on YouTube. I say I agree. So far, from what I've watched so far. And the Ass Man. Not to be confused with Asthma. I might have to reduce the finisher strength a little bit. Because I've put it down a notch, but like a two count for a first finisher. Should be pretty cool, I think. So I might put a finish strength down a notch. Um, let's go. Like I said, this is a pin and submission battle royal. And as you can hear, the uh, the fans are firmly behind the rock. That's why I was quiet because I just heard the lowest chance. That's pretty cool. And the fans are firmly behind the rock for this one. And in all honesty, so am I. I think Rock not is not going to. He'd probably get eliminated first, but he would make a good hardcore champion. Champion and no, no. On the um, Judgment Day side of things, for um, the Hard God Championship, as, as you know, it's going to be a championship scramble, and the winner of this will enter as the fifth guy. Um, but honestly, I think that uh, Triple H won't retain. Um, and also for the WWE Championship, Mankind vs Undertaker, and it's last man standing, I think. Maybe Mankind will retain. On the ECW side, I think that Dolph Ziggler is not going to retain. I think he's going to lose it to Van Damme, probably. I'm not going to play that match, though. I'm just going to say he's probably going to lose it to Van Damme. Um... Oh, I've not told you the card yet, have I? Well, okay, I'll do. I'll tell you the card first. Um, for the Raw side, there's going to be um, Mankind vs Undertaker in a last man standing match for the WWE Championship. Then there's going to be um, the winner of this match, um, no, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase, and the winner of this match is in a, champ in a championship scramble for the Hardcore Championship. The Cruiserweight Championship will be included on the card. Um, I probably defended the on the heat before it. And maybe I could put that as a first, and maybe I could have an eight match card, and that could be an exhibition match. Um, but yeah, then we have Rim Mysterio and Jack Swagger, which honestly I think Jack Swagger's gonna pick up the win again. Uh, that's four matches. Tag Team Championships, DX, were meant to be booked tonight, but I might just leave it till Judgment Day. And they're going to drop the titles at Judgment Day. Oh wait, no, because, um... Oh shit, no. That won't work. Road Dogs with a tap. Yep, Road Dogs out. Um, anyway, the tag team championships. Um, if the if DX are going to be in the Hacker Championship match, and uh, they're in the tag team championship match, that's going to be too much. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, 
So yeah, DX are probably going to defend at the pay per view instead against the Road Warriors again, probably. And then um, women's championship that's going to be decided. I'm going to do a fatal four way on superstars soon. Not the superstars necessarily, but on superstars soon. And the winner of that will become number one contender. Oh, Raw kicks out at two and a half. Oh, the picking on the Rock. No, 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 no. Rock, Rock, Rock. Two. Fuck, oh, right, okay. It's going to be either Mark Henry or Billy Gunn. Yeah. Goodbye. Ah, that hurt my face. No, uh, that was quite stupid. Pointless. Anyway, so as I was saying, the card, if you remember the other matches, there's five matches I said, I think. I'll have to get them written down and I'll tell you them tomorrow, well, later in ECW. I'll tell you all of them. So we've got a WWE Championship match, ECW Championship match. Um, Tag Team Championship match, Women's Championship match. Hardcore Championship match, that's five matches. And we're going to have Jack Swagger, Rey Mysterio. And then we're probably going to have... I don't know, we're going to have probably... Um, Great Dark Hill versus Team Hell No, just a normal tag team match. And then I think I might make it an eight-match thing and have, like... The Cruiserweight Championship on an exhibition match before the pay-per-view starts. Like a pre-show sort of thing. Um, that'd be quite a good idea, actually. Making a pre-show and putting match or two matches on it. I was thinking of doing that, maybe. But I don't know how well that'd work out, in all honesty. And Billy Gunn looks like he could be going to... The Judgment Day is getting... Is, um, is getting... He's beating Mark Henry at the moment, anyway. I'm trying to say. I don't know who's going to win. Yes, it is, Joey. Yes, it is. Is that going to be it? One. Well, nope. Mark Gary continuing to kick out. Mark Gary still got fighting him. What I've just realised that all the guys in this match are face, were face, including Road Dog and Rock. There was one heel, which was Matt Henry, but he ch turned face a couple of weeks, or well, last week. Albert Del Rio's also a face now. Who's next, Dolph Ziggler? Well, I don't know if Dolph Ziggler's a face on this yet. Uh, uh, Dolph Ziggler's a face on this or not. Oh, World's Strongest Slam, uh, Mark Henry is going to Judgment Day and he's going to be competing in this championship scramble. That is all sorted. No, Billy Gunn. Maybe not. Billy Gunn kicking out the count of one. And Billy Gunn doing a black hole slam sort of thing. I think it's black hole slam, I think that's what you call it. Our wings have changed. And Bill. No! Oh my god. This is really pretty good confrontation between these last two. No, but seriously though, Mark Henry, I thought was going to beat Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn kicked out one. I think this is going to be it actually. Billy Gunn pin. Yeah, Billy Gunn's going to Judgment Day. Billy Gunn's going to Judgment Day to take on Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Cody Rhodes, Ted DiBiase in the Championship Scramble. That meant that match went a lot better than I thought it was going. So that last bit was amazing, though. I was just Matt Carey at the World's Strongest Slam, and then um, Billy Gunn kicked out of one, and then Billy Gunn hit the Wings of Change last Black Hole Slam, and Matt Car in the arms beat Matt Carey. It was two and seven eighths, and then Billy Gunn just hit an armbar on him and mid tap out and win. Well, wow, that's brilliant.
So we've got three men of DX and two legacy guys in there. I'm sure we've got a bit of time left. There's something I needed to do, but can't remember what. I was going to create a wrestler, but I'm not going to do that on here because that take too long. So well, let's just go over the results. God Truth beat Godfather in what was quite a good match. Brock Lesnar destroyed CM Punk. Jack Swagger beat Rey Mysterio in quite a good match. That was just Man Kang just doing taunts, get finishes and stuff, and winning. And Billy Gunn won that, so we'll be advancing in the championship scramble. I'll probably forget about that, but I'll try to remember. Um, and then next time is ECW. So we're going to check rankings, because... Uh, What? Wait a minute, I need to check the Tag Team Championship stuff. Um, nope, I don't want to go off. Why has it gone off? No. Buttocks, right, okay. Edit teams. We've not got DX, so... Hmm. It says there that Triple H and Shawn Michaels are Tag Team Champions. But then it says Road Warriors are Champions there. And I'm just confused now. Well, I think I'm going to stick the championships on Road Warriors, and then they're going to face Rock and Socket um, uh, Judgment Day. Um, titles, tag team titles. Which ones are the ones that I use? Yeah, but they're not champions because they're not a team anymore. So we we'll have to make it out of Hawk. Okay, so there we go. Good little tag team thing sorted there. Um, just checking everything. You know the stories are on. All these are on, but I've not had many at all, have I? It's stupid. Um, well, I've had some disbanding, obviously. Um, yeah, let's just. I'm just going over everything to check before we finish. Undertaker's the top contender, so that's all right. Um, how good championship? Jack Swagger's the top contender, which he shouldn't be. So. Um, oh yeah, Cody Rhodes and oh, Cody Rhodes and Dibiase on ECW. Ah, well, if um, if one of them wins it, then they'll move to Raw. Um, Jack Swagger's getting moved to ECW, though. I'll be making Jeff Hardy as soon as I finish this. So it's been Let's Play FB Games with episode... Um, do you know I might take a look at Rob Van Damme, actually, and just see what I could improve with him. Uh, attributes... Uh, speed a bit more... So I'll sort this at the end, um, I'll just accept that for now, we need a bit more speed, I'll sort that out at the end. So this has been Let's Play Video Games with episode 22 of got WWE 13 Universe Mode with Roy's War, a brilliant Roy's War as well, lots of things happening, that last match was just amazing, so I'll see you later or tomorrow for ECW, for now, goodbye. It won't stop, it wants me to do something else obviously, um, so... I might as well just, um, I don't know what I was going to do here, actually. Um, might as well put the finisher down a notch. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do, put the finisher down a notch. So I might as well do that. That's in-game options, that's the wrong thing. I'm not, I've not learned everything on this yet, obviously. Um, but fish strength down a notch, foreign objects you know, down two notches. And maybe doing another notch for finishes, actually. Um, so there we go, this has been Let's Play 3 Games again. Episode 22, hopefully it'll stop this time and I will see you next time for ECW.